Her name, Danja Haslacher. Her home, Austria. Her passion, skiing. Skiing fast. Ideally faster than anyone else and at the Paralympic Games, the test of prowess for the best athletes with a disability in the world. Now 39, she was aiming to really give it a go again this year and to add to past successes like her three gold medals in Salt Lake City eight years ago. 2002 was my year. In Salt Lake City, I was almost unbeatable. I was relaxed as I pushed off and I knew, today, you're going to win it. However, a bad fall in training at the start of December and a multiple break of her shin spelt a bitter end for Dania's Paralympic plans. A major blow for the skier, who until then had been making such good progress. After a sporting low in 2008, she'd been working hard on her fitness and technique, drawing on all of her experience. She battled through this difficult time with an iron will. She's undoubtedly experienced everything before, both in terms of the piste and the course layout. Everything really, in fact. I think she's also very strong mentally. With her trainer's support, Danya got herself back on the path to success. Then, at the World Championships in Korea in early 2009, she experienced the feeling of success she'd so sorely missed. Silver in the giant slalom. And it was just the sort of piss that I'd failed on eight times in eight races, a really icy one. But I stood up there and said to myself, you can do this. I worked out in my head special lines to take and didn't actually ask anybody's advice. Instead, I said, OK, you go up there, go for it and do your best. And I casualed myself into it at the start. That's something I can do, even at night. I always visualize that it's going well. It will go well. And then I was at the bottom and was incredibly proud as people were praising me and my coach said, you see, the other girl was nowhere near as good. The fact that Dania Haslacher is able to enjoy such success is thanks in part to her mother. When her leg was amputated after a moped accident in 1988, the then 17-year-old was at first almost unable to see any prospect of a normal life. I was a real teenager back then, modern and flitting about, and then I was being told you could ski on one leg. But I said, no, that looks uncool, I'm not going to do that. Then, though I kept whining and moaning all winter, and at the end my mother finally lost her patience and said, right, that's enough, and just gave me a skiing course for my birthday. At first, of course, I was angry because I don't actually like to be talked into anything. But then I thought, oh well, it's paid for now. She's organized the other stuff already too, so let's just go. Motherly stubbornness, for which Dania is now grateful. Through skiing, living with a disability became second nature to her. More than that, as the protagonist in a commercial in 2004, she was proactively in the spotlight. An extraordinary experience and a promotion that also gave publicity to the concept of the Paralympics. In early 2009, Dania again confirmed the steep upward trend in her form. At the World Cup final in Whistler, a dress rehearsal on the Paralympic slopes, she took bronze in the Super G event. The disappointment for the Austrian after dropping out in December is enormous. However, she wouldn't be Danja Haslacher were she not to keep a cool head at this time too, in her own serene way. This life is up and up. This is simple. Life's all about ups and downs. It's simple, and whenever something happens that you think you can't handle, you've simply got to carry on. I think the biggest challenge is to always keep control of yourself, to always look forwards, even when things are going backwards. You've got to look forwards. Looking forwards in this case means looking ahead to next year. And in the shape of the 2011 Downhill World Championships, Danja Haslacher already has her next target firmly in sight.